In Kelso School District, we have high quality vetted materials aligned to the state standards in all academic areas. Our most recent materials adoptions have been in the areas of math, STEAM, music, and English language arts. There is no doubt that high quality instructional materials have a positive impact on both teaching and learning. In short, materials matter. ELA stands for English Language Arts, but those three letters are a wide range of our standards. They include foundational skills, reading, writing, language, speaking, and listening. Learning to read and write is hard work, from blending two sounds together to read a word, all the way to author's craft and integrating ideas into text, and writing in response to reading. In STEAM, we teach the science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And a lot of that is integrated together. So in science, there'll be some technology, there'll be some engineering, but we also get to integrate art into their learning. There's just a lot of connection when you bring that art in, you bring that other side of the brain in, and you get better learning. My favorite thing about STEAM is how everybody's actually trying to learn uh, what, we're, what the teacher's teaching. We're learning about like all of the parts that, of the skeleton that we have. So for example, the collarbone is the clavicle and your skull is the cranium. Mrs. Vasquez wants to see you putting each counter on a balloon and counting your numbers. Um, we're learning math right now. We're learning math with our counters and our cubes to help us do math. Four, five, six, seven. And we learn math with our fingers too. Are you three really good at math? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing about math is challenging myself and turning and talking and sharing my multiplication skills. The new curriculum makes us compare answers. It gives me different ideas on how to solve questions. I use the interactive whiteboard during both ELA and math lessons. It's so much faster to erase, it's more efficient. I like that there's different types of modes so I could like highlight, I can't highlight on the whiteboard. So I like, I really like that feature. I like the feature of just quickly changing colors. I don't have to get a new pin. I also really like the tools with like drawing rectangles for math. We could like box certain things for ELA. There's also grid paper, which I can access really quickly. The best thing about the interactive whiteboard is how easily it erases and I also like how smoothly it writes. The automatic whiteboard is a lot better than the overhead projector because the overhead projector, it takes longer to connect, it's a lot harder to read. Yeah. Does it make you want to answer the questions more? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm taking the college class because it's five credits for both trimesters and I thought it would like help me later on with college so like having those already on my transcript. It's giving me a little insight of what college classes will be so this way I'm more prepared for college. Kelso High School offers uh, several dual credit English courses. We have uh, English 111 and 131 through the University of Washington. Both those courses are uh, supervised and developed with their English staff at the University of Washington. I'm taking a UW class to uh, basically save some money from college because using these credits I don't have to take a class in college and also prepare me for college level classes. Just taking these classes, they're free so it allows me to just get out there and get after it inside the high school which just gives me a head start at college. The other course that we offer is for seniors, it's for AP English, and over the last 20 years the passage rate on the national level has been around 50% or in the low 50s, uh, 40s sometimes, and our passage rate at Kelso High School over the last 20 years has been 93%, with the majority of those being scoring in the top four or five positions. They'll walk into any college English course and they'll be the very best of the best, regardless of where they go. This year I'll be taking two uh, AP classes into UW class, so I'll have about 15 college credits this year, and I've taken some previous years in high school, so I'll have about 20 to 25 um, unpaid for college credits.
taking college classes in the high school, it allows me to be more comfortable in the classroom because I feel like if I were to go to university, there's big lectures, but here in the classroom, it's more one-on-one -on -one learning. So it's really a good opportunity to take advantage of these college credits.